Hello, my name is Judy. Welcome to the Liberated Multitasker. Today we're going to make sausage, egg, and cheese English muffins. And we're going to compare the cost between what you can buy at our local fast food and making it yourself. Let's see how much money we can save. So in order to make our sausage, egg, and cheese English muffins, I'm going to go ahead and fry up the sausage patties I have in my freezer. We'll be making 12 actually. You can get these sausage patties from Walmart, great value brand, for $2.76 for an eight count. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these patties over. It's just easier and quicker if I just go ahead and have two skillets going at the same time, just to cut down on time. Now I actually got this idea from Becky's Acre Homestead. I will link her uh, YouTube channel talking about this freezable convenience food in my description notes below. But what I want to do is not only make it for us for a convenience meal, but also just show you the difference in cost between making it yourself versus buying it at a local fast food. So I'm, it's time to pull these up. So I'm going to put them on a paper towel so they can um, drain and soak up that grease and then we'll start frying up our eggs. So we're almost done, just two to go. These are my washed farm fresh eggs we'll be using today. These are egg rings that I got from Walmart. I like using these when I make these sausage egg and cheese English muffins. Now I'm also going to be using ghee to fry my eggs. This is not included in my cost comparison. You can use any type of oil or butter you have. Most people have that in their pantry. Now I raise my own eggs, but you can get great value eggs of 12 count for about 24 cents per egg after tax. In our area, we have a 10% tax uh, in our grocery stores. Now I like to salt and pepper my eggs. And if you've never tried frying your eggs or scrambling your eggs in ghee, you should give it a try. That's about the only thing I use ghee for, but man, the eggs just taste so much better. Now, you can see that I'm using cast iron to fry my eggs. So the trick to helping that not stick is using plenty of oil. I really do enjoy my cast iron. So I'm able to do three at a time in the skillet. In between layers, I will layer paper towel between each layer of eggs. That will help soak up some of the oil and um, it doesn't take that long. I always add more oil each time to help the eggs not stick. And if there's any stuck between, I just scrape it off with my spatula and that way I have a clean slate when I go and fry more eggs. That you do it however you like, I always bust the yolk. I like it hard fried. Now comment below and let me know how much you think it's going to cost to make one sausage, egg, and cheese English muffin. Now we've been doing this for a while. I'll cook up six to twelve at a time. As soon as they cool, I'll put them in a sandwich bag and, and then I'll bag them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. And then there we have a convenience breakfast. You can put it in the refrigerator the night before um, or take it out that morning. Take it with you and heat it up in the microwave and you've got a, a good breakfast. Now, in my opinion, this doesn't just save on the cost of food. It also saves time. Um, you're not having to sit in line, wait for your food every morning that you decide this is what you want. It's in your freezer at your fingertips. But that's just me. 
Let me know what you think. So I've got my pan with parchment paper. And I actually got these English muffins from Aldi for $1.39. And I'm going to use a little bit of butter. But now you can get English muffins from Walmart, great value brand, for $1.50. The time before this when I saw English muffins, the cheapest I saw at Walmart was $2.48. So I'm glad to know that there is a cheaper version at Walmart. So I'm just splitting these open. I had two packs, so we're going to be doing 12. And now I'm just going to put just a sliver of butter on each piece of English muffin. Now when this is all said and done, I'm only using two tablespoons for all 12 English muffins. So that's about a half a teaspoon per English muffin. I'm just going to put these on broil. I just have them a little toasty. The butter's melted. Now we're going to put it together. Now I'm just using the cheese I already have, but you can get some great value sliced cheese from Walmart, 12 pieces for $2.22. That makes it about 20 cents a slice after tax. So I'm doing my layer of cheese. Then I'm going to do a layer of fried egg. And then I'm going to top it off with sausage. And then put the, the lid on the sandwich. And there we have it. 12 sausage, egg, and cheese English muffins. Now we just wait for them to cool before we bag them. So you can make these sausage, egg, and cheese English muffins for $1.10 each after tax. At our local fast food, you'll be paying $3.84 each. So that's going to give us a total savings of $2.74 for each sausage, egg, and cheese English muffin. So if we're saving $2.74 each times 12, that would be a savings of over $30. I don't know about you, but I think that's worth it. Just a few more left to bag up. Then I'll put them in the freezer, and I'll have a convenient breakfast at my fingertips anytime I need it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you soon.